What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I have decided after one whole year of making the switch from Spider to Peak, I am now going back from Peak to Spider. And here's why. What's going on guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today's more of a vlog style video, kind of a little unboxing, but really just to kind of compare brands. First off, if you guys are new to the channel, I'm a photographer, father, entrepreneur. Feel free to subscribe. All my videos are educational, tutorial, and then a lot of fun stuff in between about my daily life. Um, if this video helps you out in any way, give it a thumbs up. Of course, comment below if you guys have any questions, and then click that bell for notifications. Cool, that stuff is done, we're just gonna chill now. So guys, um, it is almost exactly a year since I was using Spider Pro System for everything, spiderholster.com, and I loved it, although um, I found out about a company called Peak Design who came out with another kind of holster system for my cameras. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, you can carry your cameras a number of ways. You can obviously wear it with the strap that comes around your neck. You can have uh, like the Money Makers, which is like a double holster, or you can wear something on your hip or on your belt. I'm shooting this a little bit low because I'm gonna take it back, take a step back so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. But um, I'm gonna show, since I have everything set up right here with the Peak Design System, I'm gonna show you guys this and why I'm making that switch because that's the biggest thing and it took me about a month of contemplation to, to finally make that change and make that purchase. Um, but I'm very excited that I did and that's why I did it. So first off guys, you need to get stuff off of your neck and shoulders, especially if you're a wedding photographer um, or if you're hiking or traveling or anything, you don't want anything around your neck. Um, both of these systems are amazing at what they do but really the reason that we're doing it as photographers is we're putting everything down to our hips and making sure that everything is balanced and not just around our neck or having a shoulder one here, heaven forbid something falls off or something like that. Here's what I have now, guys. So I've been using this for about exactly a year, this whole system. So it started with this bag. This is a Peak Design Messenger bag. I love this bag and I've done a review on it. I've shown you guys what goes on in it and this was the start of it. Once I got this bag, I found out that I could um, find ways to attach my camera to my bag. So if you guys look right here, Peak Design is pretty simple. It has, a, it's a two part functioning system. This is the clip and then you need something to clip it onto, right? Or reverse that. So we have the clip that goes on the bottom here. I have this paired with the hand strap. Everything I shoot with, every camera, I always have a hand strap. Now I do love their hand strap. It's very, very simple. Um, I can loosen it this way to get my hand out and I can put it on and just pull this to tighten and my camera just hangs, it just stays. So you're taking weight off your hands, especially when you're shooting, you're not gripping it as hard. Always have a hand strap on your camera, the extra level of security, even if you're throwing a strap around it, make sure you guys have one. So we have that, it easily ties into its own system down here, this little clip and this thing is money and magic. I bought a bunch of extra of these clips and then tie them to um, the sides of my bag to hold memory cards. So I'm gonna keep this system for sure. This loop kind of came with the bag right here. So anytime you have a loop or anything, you can kind of, that won't go anywhere. So I just switch that off every once in a while. So this is where it started. What I love, love, love about this system, guys, is that I can throw this over. I have this on my bag. My camera will live here. So my camera stays here, it lives here, and I've shown you guys this before, and this is one of the best things I have. This is great if you're a one camera system, you throw your lenses in the bag, and that's it. The bad thing about this is that your camera moves a lot and I've hit quite a few things trying to maneuver through, and this obviously is a one camera system. So if I had this, I would have to have a strap held, there's no way for me to hold it again, and it makes everything just a little more, not difficult, but not the way that I like shooting personally. So if you guys are a one camera system, you don't mind the swinging, maybe you wear this really, really tight, then this might be a way to go. I love this for when I go to like Disneyland or trips where I'm not jumping, hiking, where I'm just kind of walking around and I could throw a lens in here and then water bottles and stuff. This is great for me and I do love that and I might be keeping one of these systems for this, particular to travel. I don't have a backpack on me now, but this can easily go onto a strap of a backpack and you can wear the system right here on your bag as you're hiking and walking. Um, that's, that's the greatest part of that system. 
but that's not the biggest, but that's not the reason why I sold it or I'm, I'm changing things up. The, the biggest reason why I'm changing things up is because I am a wedding photographer. I'm a commercial photographer and sometimes my shoots take me up mountains, location, location. I need to be able to switch a camera on the fly and I simply cannot do it with this system. Now recently, um, Peak Design has come up with a new system, an updated version of them of what they have. So it's a better clip, it's a better everything, but they haven't resolved the problem of how to actually pull the camera off with one hand, which is what I really, really need. Let me show you guys an example here. So what I've had to do is with Peak Design system here, is um, I needed some way to put it around my waist. Now, you can just buy these pieces by themselves and they'll actually sit on your belt loop if you're wearing a belt, but then what happens is it pulls on your pants and my always what if is what if my belt breaks somehow, my camera just falls off. So I bought the, um, this is the Think Tank Pro Speed Belt which is awesome, little loop so you can put other accessories through there if you'd like. The pro pad and the capture clip. I wear this on my hip like so when I'm shooting, wedding, shooting out and about. And you want it really, really tight around your belt area so that nothing happens. And I kind of wear it like this. This is how I wear it on my normal everyday shooting. I like it because it's discreet, and it's tight and it feels good and nothing feels like it's gonna fall. The only bad, the bad thing with the uh, belt is that it's, it's a one lock system, which means I push this button and it one locks, whereas you'll see in a second, the spider has a dual lock. So if I'm bending over and my, my belly hits this and actually unlocks it against like my belly and my pants, um, it doesn't just fall, this system will. So I've had three situations where I've been shooting weddings and I kind of bent over to pick something and my belly hit this and it bounced off the bottom of my belt and then I just felt it fall. So I just literally had to like grab my camera before it fell, super embarrassing. And I've dropped my camera twice because of this system. Granted, Peak Design does not sell the belt. The belt, they only sell this part. So this is not their fault, but I feel like they should have something like that built in their system already. I had to buy extra, so remember that when you're purchasing. Now, here's how I like to wear my cameras when I'm shooting a wedding. First off, you always put the clip on the collar of the long lens. Otherwise, if you put it here, just imagine this pulling on your camera all day as you're walking and it's starting to, it's, it might pull something out here. It'll mess with the battery grip right here if it's pulling on everything. So I wear it like so. You put it in, it locks in, it's great. They, the way you take this out, you can't just lift this off, which is great security. So I can't just pull this off. What I have to do is on here, there's a little red lever a little red lever and you're supposed to push that lever and if you see that, it unlocks and allows my camera to come up. Great, but what if I'm shooting a wedding and I need to grab both my cameras at the same time? There's a lot of situations where I am shooting the ceremony and I wanna be able just to lift this up but I have to actually take my hand, boom, drop that. I've tried one-handing it, my, maybe my hands are too small but I can't reach around to thumb and grab at the same time and I'm shooting the wedding just like so, and all of a sudden, oh, something's happening over here. I need to be able just to do this without putting this away, and there's almost absolutely no way, and I'm trying it now, even just to put my, my pinky right there. I mean, if I put my thumb down first, nothing will happen. You have to push it and pull at the same time, and that is the number one reason why I'm changing out this system. I have found that I am not comfortable going dual cameras at most of my events, most of my weddings now because of this system. And it bummed me out hardcore. I've always been looking at Spider. I follow them on social media and then they finally came out with a new system. So those are the biggest reasons why I'm selling it guys, um, that I'm getting rid of it, that I'm going back to the old, the, back to my Spider system. Um, and the beauty is Spider has updated everything as well and they fixed some of the issues that I had in the past. With that being said, I will be switching out the clip, the clips, the hand straps as well, and going everything back to Spider on their updated system. Um, and the cost is actually pretty comparable to the whole set of everything. Uh, yeah. You have to two-hand it and that's, that's it. I can't, uh, there's, not, there's not an option to like not let it clip. I mean, you, if, you know, if you're running, you can definitely, Nothing's happening to this. It's gone.
and that's secure. So imagine hiking up a hill, this might be your thing, but let's see if that works as well. All right, so I'm gonna set up my camera. Oh, first thing is first, it comes with one. You have to put the second one on, which I don't like that aspect of having to put things together, but you have to because you have to measure it to your body and to where you're gonna wear it. So um, right side was done, left side was added. The cool thing with this, guys, as I mentioned before, is that you cannot just push these two. My belly can't hit this and this. You have to push this and this to release it. You can't just do one. So it's super secure, which means if somebody were to come up to you and let's just say they like grab that and try to run with it, they're not gonna be able to, your belly's not gonna hit it and accidentally fall and that is huge. That one thing right there has cost me a lot of money on getting the glass repaired at the end of my camera. Um, just not cool. So I have this set up nice and tight, nice and secure around my belt and that's where I wear it. I do see some of the spider ambassadors, spiderholster.com. Sorry guys, I'm gonna call you out, but they wear it like up here and you know, that may be practical, but they look nerdy, they look weird. Um, maybe that's why I'm not an ambassador of anything. So I wear it down here, this is how I like to wear it. Uh, this shows, and as your weight changes or fluctuates, if it does, your hips usually don't change that much, it's usually up here uh, or down here. So I'm not having to worry about it. Bring this down just a little bit for you guys. Okay. Awesome. All right, so I have my short lens that I always, and this is the main one that I kind of rock all the time. I have it set. Now, if you guys see this hand strap, right? This is a spider hand strap. It came out a while ago. I love this thing. But hand straps usually were like this. So when you put your hand in, there's nowhere for really your hand to move. It wasn't ergonomical. This is actually rounded, if you guys can see. So when my hand goes in, it actually fits and conforms to my hand rather than the normal hand strap would actually be around here. So I can still move my hand around, I can still do things, I can still hold it. It's not recommended to do this, but I have it on tight enough. Goes underneath the plate. There's a right and left. Um, I've always had two, just in case I want to inner switch, but I don't, I don't. So I think I'm just gonna leave one. So basically all I gotta do here is take this and drop it in. I miss that little movement so much. With the um, capture, you have to, I had to like look down, line it up, and then shimmy, shimmy, drop. Shimmy, shimmy, drop. And this one, I literally just get to the point where I can just do that. Go on, do my own thing, grab my own thing. I can grab the camera with one hand. Boom. Now, there's a lock on here. And basically, the lock goes up or down. If it's down, you cannot just pull. Somebody else can't just pull. So you have to release the lock and go. And if you hold it up, I think, I thought it was like a, yeah, you can just, if it's down, you can just put up a little bit and it'll go up. If you pull it up a little bit more, it'll click and that click will leave it down. So I can always do this and that's how I do it. I trust myself. If I'm about to start running or if I need to get somewhere quick, it goes down and I go running. So we did this test earlier. The biggest thing is up and out, right? Up and out. Down's not gonna go anywhere. Sideways and going up and out. You're not gonna do this in a wedding. You might, I don't know. So that's secure, that's on there. One of the added benefits that they've added that I like to this is that on the back, there you can see a little Allen wrench spot right here. They've actually, before you actually just screwed it into the thread and it was done, and what would happen after time is that the thread would loosen, your camera would fall, boom. You actually have to drill it into there. Another level of security, which is awesome. Allen wrench is here, so if I need to change anything, I can always change it. One, two, still super secure, nothing's happening. We have two plates on here. We have the plate for the camera in case I wanna use a different lens on here, like an 85 or something. And then we have the plate. I haven't tried this yet, but anytime you use, I knew it was gonna happen. So I have to figure this out, guys. So what's going on is I can't do both. I can do that. Oh, it's locked. But I can't use my collar, my plate collar, at the same time. Which I think is, I don't know, is that a mistake? Am I, am I supposed to change it out? Like if I'm using just my collar, what do I do? What do I do? Somebody tell me that. Comment below, let me know. 
But the goal is that this stays on here, and let's just say this is on the collar because I'm never gonna let it hang from just my battery, I've learned in the past. But as I'm shooting and doing my thing, um, it does come with other pieces so that you don't have to use uh, the plate itself, so I can just use the collar only. I honestly don't know how much I like that. I, I, I like the idea of, of the pin. Maybe I can see if the pin will just go through here without, without holding the full collar. I've never had an issue with that. The collar's really great. But if I'm working here and say I'm shooting with this lens, then I can always just go boom, 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 back, and then back to shooting, where I could not do that with the capture. So guys, I'm super happy with this. This is a huge change for me. Again, the price difference is about the same. I think the new Spider Pro, I ended up spending about $40 more for everything. Um, but everything I got was actually a kit, except for the, the, the hand straps. So the double, the, the, the two bottom pieces, the um, thread for the collar um, was all one kit, the dual pro kit. And then the hand straps I got separately. They do also have um, these little wrist guards that go on the buttons here of the hand strap. So this will actually, you undo it and then tie it around your wrist so that when you're holding it, you have this and then you have another level of security attaching to that. I simply don't need that. I will not use that. Um, I just won't. So I'm gonna play with this a little bit more, but that's it. That's kind of why I did what I did. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are on the holster system on the side of which either, um, I'm happy to help kind of guide you guys through what you need. The only downfall now is that I have to wear this every single day. I can't just cheat and wear my bag. But this is what I will look like if you guys see me at weddings. Right? Just, yeah, just baller. Just feeling good. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will talk to you guys later.